Hello beautiful people. In this tutorial I'll be showing you how to use Lemon Squeezy. Lemon Squeezy is an e-commerce platform that you can use to sell subscription to your audience or digital products. There are quite a few reasons why I would recommend Lemon Squeezy and one of them is you can get started for completely free. Yes, it is not a trial period or anything like that and you don't need to sign up with a credit card. All they will take is simply a 5% cut of whichever sale you make plus 50 cents. And with this free plan, you'll get instant access to all of the payment options that are offered globally. You can also fully automate sales tax compliance and you'll also get their AI fraud protection with payment risk intelligence, plus numerous other features. Lemon Squeezy also offers a very good email marketing feature that you'll also get access to for completely free. And it is also beginner friendly and easy to use. All you'll need to do is go onto lemonsqueezy.com. Once you have done that, you're going to go over to the top right hand corner and you're going to tap on sign up for free or get started. After you have entered your email address and the necessary information, you will be redirected to a dashboard just like this. And what I want you to do next is go over to the left hand menu option and you're going to tap on store. Then from there, you can select products. After you have selected products, you can create your first product. So you could tap on create product right here. Then you can enter your product name. So let's say for example, I want to name my product simple answers. I can do that right there. Then you are going to scroll down and you can add a description for your product. Then you can select your pricing package. Is it a single one-time payment? Is it a subscription that you would like to offer? Or is this simply a lead magnet that you'll be offering to your subscribers for free? Or do you want the customer to decide how much they will pay? You have four different options that you can choose from. But let's say we are selling a subscription. We're going to tap on subscription right here. Then from there, you can scroll down and right where you see pricing model, you can tap right there. So you can choose whether you'd like to use standard pricing, package pricing, or you'd like to use graduated pricing or volume pricing. You have four different options. So let's say I want to use standard pricing. I could do that. Then I could set the price right here. Let's say $12. Then you'll see repeat payment every and you can select whether you like it to be repeated every day, every week, every month, every year. I'll select month. So the customer will pay $12 every month for a subscription. You can also add a usage meter if you want, meaning that you would like the customer to only have access to a limited amount. You can do that. And if you'd like to offer the subscription as a free trial, you could toggle that on right there. And you can also see the tax category. So you can select tax category. For instance, I will select digital goods. Then you can scroll down and from here, you could add your image. So let's say click to browse. And I'm going to be adding a random image real quick. So let's say this one. Then you will simply scroll down and from here, you will add your offer right where you see files. This is where you'll tap on and you're going to add your offer. After you have done that, you can scroll down. And if you also want to offer variance, you can tap on add variance right there. Once everything is to your liking, all you'll need to do now, you can tap right where you see confirmation model. And from there, you can add whether you would like to edit the title of the thank you message or so on. You can do that. This is how it looks at the moment. And you can also edit the email receipt that the customer will receive once their transaction goes through. So if you would like to add a thank you note, you can do that. And you can also add the button text right there if you want. Once you're finished, you'll tap on publish and your product will now be live. 
but at the moment i'm going to tap on save draft so i'm going to save it as a draft as you can see right here and if we go over to the left hand menu option once more you will be able to view your orders so you could tap on orders right there you can also view your subscriptions later on when you start getting subscriptions and you'll also be able to view your customers and if you would like to offer them discounts you could tap on discounts from the left hand menu option and after tapping on discounts you will be redirected to this dashboard once on this dashboard you could tap on the plus in the top right hand corner then you would tap on new discount after you have tapped on new discount you can enter the discount name then you can create a code or you can use one of their preloaded code right there you could add the discount amount that you would like to offer whether it is a percentage or a fixed amount discount you can do that then you can select the product or products that you would like to offer the discount on then you'll simply scroll down and if you like this discount to be only available for a limited amount of time you can toggle on start date and expiry date right there then you will tap on publish discount for it to go live and that's how you'll be able to add or offer a discount to your customers now that you have set up your store as you have added a product and you have also added your discount it is now time to design your storefront to do this you'll tap on design at the bottom left hand corner after you have tapped on design this is how your store looks at the moment so if you would like to make any changes you can do that by going over to the left hand menu option so for example you can add a store header right here so you could tap on the plus to add a store header as you can see right there by scrolling down you can choose whether you would like to show the store logo or store name and you can leave it as is i would recommend that you leave it as is you can also show product details so you could toggle this on to show product details right there and if you like to add tracking you can do that you can add your facebook pixel right here you can also add google analytics to it by simply tapping on tracking once everything is finished you can tap on customer portal so let's say I were to tap on customer portal real quick. Once you have tapped on customer portal, this is what the customers will see. You can see the subscription right here. So this is basically the checkout page. So you can see how it looks at the moment. This is how your checkout page looks. If you would like to edit anything, you can do that by simply going over to the left hand menu option. You can edit the description right there. You can also edit the heading right there if you want. Once everything is there liking, you'll tap on publish in the top right hand corner for your store to go live. But let's say we were to go back to the main dashboard. Once on the main dashboard, you're going to tap on setup. After you have tapped on setup, from here you can simply scroll down and you're going to tap on connect a bank account. And you can add your bank account right there that you would like to receive payments on you can also add their email feature so you can tap on email from the left hand menu option and from there you can tap on broadcast and you'll be able to start doing some email marketing so you could tap on enable email marketing after you have tapped on enable email marketing you will see this right here and from here you can see view your plan fees so we can scroll down and you all you'll need to do is simply activate your store once you have activated your store you will be able to get access to the email marketing feature but to activate my store i'll simply need to fill in some more information meaning the business or home address right here and after doing that i can scroll down add a contact email and you can also add social media if you want then all you'll need to do is tap on activate store for your store to go live and there are also other features that you can use on lemon squeeze for instance if you would like to add a custom domain you can do that by tapping on domains then you will tap on the plus right where you see connected domains and you could add your custom domain right here then you'll tap on verify domain 
to add your custom domain. If you would like to integrate other platforms, you can do that by tapping on integrations. You can integrate MailChimp, ConvertKit, or Zapier. And that's basically it. Hope you found this tutorial helpful and informative on how to use Lemon Squeezy.